Do you think having role models for the younger generation is important? Who's like a good role model for the younger generation? Do you guys think like Andrew Tate is a good role model or not really? Oh, no. I wouldn't say that he's a good influence for younger boys and I feel like it just adds on to the cycle of like a toxic masculinity. Oh shit, here we go again. Do you guys think having role models for the younger generation is important? It's very important, I think. Why? Um, I think having good role models sets a good standard in terms of what you want to be when you grow up. Well, you need someone to look up to, someone to aspire to, someone to inspire you, I feel. Oh, for sure. My parents are like really big role models for me, and if I didn't have them, I don't know like what kind of values I would have, because a lot of their values have been like inherited into me. If someone has a life that you want, go out and aspire to be that, you for know sure. what I mean? Exactly. You learn from them, and they made it out, so it's like it's important to see that there is um, hope. Do you guys have any role models yourself, or do you guys think and there are any good role models out there for younger generation? Parents okay. are good role models. They kind of give me the best advice and like put me on the best pathway. I think um, like YouTubers, like Mr. Beast. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why would you say Mr. Because, Beast? Because he has such a big audience. And what he d does with his philanthropy and stuff is pretty influential. <laughs> no, very good point, very good point. He used to look up to Bruno Mars a lot. Fair enough, okay. Because he used to be like very like down to earth and like down. And he was like very real with everyone. Mm -hmm. I feel like recently he's been more engulfed with like fame and like, and like money. But like he used to be someone that I looked up to. I would say my mom, to be honest, in terms of like my morals and my future and what kind of a woman I want to be, it's really my mom. For me, it's Lana Del Rey. You, when you listen to her music, you see her grow as a person. Her music used to be really like toxic and sad. You kind of just grew with her and watched her become a happy person with good relationships, like loving herself. I mean, like maybe like Lionel Messi. I feel like he's like, works very hard. He's also a family man. You don't see him in the news usually for, you know, doing weird things or, you know, he's very low key. Low key, yeah. Listen, so far I've been able to kind of stay low key. I don't want to give my position too quickly away. I want to like keep it low key and then. A few moments later. Listen, they expect that happened and officially I can't do any interviews here. I'm not kicked out. I can film myself, but I can't interview other people. Apparently I'm interrupting, so I'm gonna go find somewhere new. Do you guys think like Andrew Tate is a good role model or not no, really? Oh no. Like what do you think about him from just your observations? I don't know, he just says shit. That I don't think it's real. Like I don't think he's real. Like he just does it for attention. I don't I don't think he actually yeah. like maybe he does mean it. If he does and like whatever. Right off the bat, he's not a good example for this generation. <laughs> he does a lot of stuff for attention and a lot of it is just kind of I, I think you should learn to respect people and I think he doesn't have a lot of respect for anybody unless you have money or if you're a man. I feel like he's I feel like he does it a lot for like just like money and like the views and stuff. Like I don't think what he's I don't think he actually believes in what he's saying. I don't like listen to his I don't even know what he says, like I don't know anything about him really. You guys I, like him? So if you guys don't like don't really know him, like why would you like make like an opinion about him? You know what I mean? I mean I just remember him from like my boyfriend and like all his friends. They would just like laugh at him. There are certain points that I do agree with, but majority of the things that he say, I think it's very out of pocket, very patriarchal. Like in terms of like how he views women, I think it, it, we, he views women as like less than just you know a piece of me and just a woman as an arm candy. Um. It's time to give you a quick psychology lesson. If you pay attention in the video, I'm very calm, I'm very relaxed, I'm not being hostile, I'm not pushy. Why? It makes other person more comfortable and when you kind of show a little bit of agreeableness, they feel more open to share their truth and they're not going to be like hesitant and kind of be scared. So that's a method, you just kind of stay relaxed and the other person is just going to spill the truth. So let's get back to the video. He's just too cocky and like too full of himself. He's not like, he's not in the real world. He's like in his own head and he gives these false ideas to these young men. I just think he's like super controversial, like his opinions. Mm -hmm. Like it's good that he's like promoting like um, a healthy lifestyle for like younger guys. Yeah. But it's just like the way he does it, I don't agree with. I, I want to believe that half of the stuff that he says is um, mm -hmm. not to be taken serious because I think a lot of it is like not ridiculous I mean it's not realistic 
But um, I, yeah, I wouldn't say that he's a good influence for younger boys, and I feel like it just adds on to the cycle of like a toxic masculinity, I guess you would say. What's something that you disagree with? Is he not like a misogynist? Like I just just don't like his way of thinking and the way that the younger generation is, I think, adopting this mindset and. I don't know, I just, just don't like it. It's very controversial. How he views a traditional relationship, how a man should be in a relationship. Certain points I do agree that I, you know, when he says like, you know, a man should be a strong figure, he should be able to create a, you know, a calm environment for a woman so they can like, exude feminine energy. I, that part I do agree with, very good point. but um, other things that he say, I, I cannot agree with it. I mean, I've heard the way he talks about, you know, women and stuff like that, and I don't know if he's just doing it as a joke or stuff like that. I don't really know mm -hmm. personally, but I think it's a little disrespectful. What's well, something that you <laughs> disagree, like a specific statement? Men are more instinctu instinctually inclined to date like younger women because they're more fertile and it's not like, it's not wrong for an older man to be wanting a, a young woman. What are some things that you guys have heard some positive things about him that you guys agree? Zero. I guess none. Okay. I mean, he's a he's a good fighter. I, I know that he's a good fighter and he has a good like mentality when like training and like practicing and like getting good at like at fighting. When I did hear him talk about having to create that safe space for a woman so they're not constantly having to rely on their own masculine energy to lead the relationship that I think I, I do agree with that part. Very good point. I don't like his opinions but I, I appreciate that he's very strong about his own opinions doesn't let it change anything like no matter what anybody says and yeah. I appreciate somebody who does that. So the main message that he stands for is like pushing young men to train harder to become their best versions provide and care for their family and their loved ones and just strive you know to be like an example for the next generation and lead their family and their you know their loved ones do you like Andrew Tate do you I like a lot of his things that he says I agree what, with him what things do you like that he says I agree that you should work hard for whatever you want to achieve you have to push yourself beyond your limits you have to sacrifice a lot of things you have to take care of your loved ones your family your girlfriend your siblings your friends you have to be an example for the younger generation you have to be motivating the younger generation as you said he's like a good motivational guy do you think he's motivating the younger generation in the right direction he's motivated millions of guys to start training so pushing them That's to become true. healthier a lot of guys have been more motivated to make more money to take care of their family and their loved ones a lot of the stuff he's doing isn't necessarily wrong like specifically like pushing people to want to be better for themselves and better for their families but the connotation he always has behind it feels very toxic. I think he spreads a lot of like the wrong messages. Not every guy should follow that prototype. It's just who they really think, like how they want to pursue themselves. Like some guys want to be like top of the top. They want to be manly. They want to make money. They want to do all kinds of things like that. But there's some guys who won't. And if they don't like that, they don't have to listen to him. It took me an hour to find just two people after I got kicked off from the other area. So listen, we finally got some clips. I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you later in the next video, bye bye.